Hello dear student, welcome back to the physics lecture. So in today's video we will start a BSc third semester unit 1. Okay, in previous video already we discussed the syllabus of third semester. In that the first unit you have geometrical optics. Okay, so that geometrical optics will start in this video. First we will see the introduction. Okay, so what is the optics? By learning a geometrical optics we must know the basic introduction of that part. Okay, so see the introduction means first we will see optics. What is the optics? It is the branch of physics. Optics it is the branch of physics which deals with the nature of light, its sources, properties, effect and vision. Okay, optics and re it is one branch of physics. At again in study theory, nature of light, its sources, properties, effect and vision. Got it? Understood? So, this is the definition of optics. So, see here next optics can be divided into two parts. So, it have two parts geometrical optics and the physical optics. So, for your third semester you have geometrical optics related content or the syllabus. So, physical optics. So, physical optics you will study in your coming, coming sem means fourth semester. Okay. For your third semester only you have geometrical optics. So, we will see the geometrical optics. So, see here this is the meaning or the definition of the geometrical optics. So, see here geometrical optic treats the propagation of light in terms of rays. So, next it concerned with the image formation. It deals with the study of simple facts such as the rectilinear propagation of light, the laws of reflections, the law of refraction by geometrical method. So, this is the word meaning of the word geometrical optics. So, see here in that we have to remember only three points. So, see here geometrical optics. Okay. So, we are knowing that what is the definition or what is the meaning of geometrical optics. So, see here in that we have to remember only three points. So, see here what is the first point? Geometrical optics treats the what? Propagation of light in terms of ray. So, what happened? Light is propagation. It again agati 3, light propagation agati 3. First point in a 3 in terms of rays. Okay. Light is propagating in terms of rays. So, second point, what is the second point we have to remember? See here, it concerned with the image formation. The second point is what? Geometrical optic is concerned with the image formation. Got it? And the third point. So, see here it having a such simple facts. What are those? The rectilinear propagation of light. Okay. Rectilinear propagation of light. So, rectilinear propagation means light travel in a straight line. Okay. That is the first point. And second, what? Law of reflections and last one is what? Law of refraction by geometrical method. Got it? So, this is the definition of meaning of the geometrical optics. So, in that we have to remember only three points. The geometrical optics, propagation of light in terms of rays. Second, it concerns the image formation. They given some simple fact. What are those? Rectilinear propagation of light. Next, law of reflections. Law of refractions in terms of what? Or by the geometrical method. So, this is the what? Meaning of the geometrical optics or the definition of the geometrical optics. So, geometrical optics that is now in Marthuri, steady Marthuri. In Akhtitri, propagation of rays Akhtitri. Next, image formation. Next, rectilinear propagation of light, law of reflections and the law of refraction. Okay. Let us move to the some basic definition. So, by learning the optics or studying the optics or geometrical optics, we must know some basic definitions. So, see here, source of light. The first definition, the source of light. What is the source of light? So, see here, all objects which are visible to us be regarded as source of light. So, 
the thing which are visualized to us that is known as the what source of light. So see here the example sun the star sun and star what that are the natural sources of light and the candle etc that are the artificial means man made ok. So this is the source of light we will see the next optical medium what is the optical medium see here any material through which light propagate is called optical medium. So consider these are the one medium this area one medium and this one is a second medium other this is by glass water or air water air diamond. So in that what happened light will propagate means light will travel like this this or only this or in a straight line ok. So this is known as what optical medium. So any material through which the light will or light is propagate is known as the what optical medium ok. So this is the definition of the optical medium. So we will see now rectilinear propagation of light. See the definition or the meaning of what rectilinear propagation of light. So see here the law of rectilinear propagation of light state that in a homogeneous medium light travel along a straight line from one point to another point. Homogeneous is nothing but same ok. So see here this is one medium this is first medium this is second medium. So homogeneous means same. So in this medium light will travel in a straight line like this like this like this from one point to another point this is known as the what rectilinear propagation of light. So rectilinear propagation of light and rain ray one the medium the gain activity light one point to another point gain travel activity ok that is known as what rectilinear propagation of light. So next we will see the law of reflections and the law of refractions ok. So see here first we will see the law of reflection. See here the definition or the meaning when a light travel in a homogeneous medium fall on the surface of another part of the incident light is sent back into the first medium the phenomenon is called the what reflection. So again see here this is one medium and this is one second medium. So here incident we are incidenting one light just ok we are incidenting a light. So what happened light travel like this from one medium to another medium. So next what happened to the another medium only touches the surface of the what second medium and what happened again come back to the first medium. So this is known as the what law of reflection got it in three now light incident what could lay light in three traveling what I start at three or light of propagate at three propagate I then rain at three second medium in it three at surface get touch at three a surface get touch at then rain at three again same medium daga in at three go back at three ok. So this is known as the what law of reflections. So they given two law of reflection first law and the second law. So see here what is the first law the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal to the reflecting surface at a point of incident all in a same plane is known as the what first law of reflection. So see here incident ray what is the incident ray. So see here we are incidenting one ray. So this is known as the eye ok. Eye is nothing but incident ray. Next a reflected ray. So see here it is go back. So that is what R is the what reflected ray and normal to the reflecting surface. So suppose we will take here one point both are normal to what the surface. Next all are lying in a same plane. So this is known as the one first law of reflection. So next we will see second law of reflection. The angle of reflection 
is equal to the angle of incident. Angle of reflection means R, sorry, R is equal to I. So, this is known as the what? Second law of reflection, okay. We will move to the what? Next law of refractions. So, see here, in that what happened? When a ray of light traveling in a homogeneous medium to another changes its direction. That is known as the what? Law of refraction. So, we will see here, when the medium the gain acted three, light travel acted three. One point to another point of travel acted three. Next gain acted three, direction change acted three. So, this is known as the law of refraction. Got it? So, in that what happened? Light travel in a homogeneous medium from one point to another point, it changes its direction. That is known as the what? Law of refraction. So, in that again two laws are there. Okay, we will see one by one. So, see here, the incident ray, the reflected ray. We know that incident ray means I, reflected ray means R. The incident ray, the reflected ray and normal to the surface. Both are what? Normal. Okay. The incident ray and the reflected ray are normal to the what? Surface separating. Surface separating the two media at the point of incident. So, incident ray and the reflected, refracted ray are normal to the surface separating what? Two media and all lie in a same plane. So, all lie in same plane. So, this is known as the what? First law of refraction. Got it? Incident ray, reflected ray are normal to the surface separating of two media and all lie in a same plane. So, this is known as the what? First law of refraction. So, we will see the second law of refraction. So, see here the ratio between the sign of the angle of incident and the sign of angle of refraction is a constant for a given pair of media. So, see here ratio between this equal to constant. So, which ratio angle of incident to the angle of refraction. So, sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is equal to constant and this is known as the what? Second law of refraction, okay. So, up to this we studied optics, types of optic, geometrical optic definition and some basic definition as well as the what? Law of refractions, law of reflections. Next we will see refractive index. So, see here what is the refractive index? Already we know that we will indicate refractive index as a n, okay. So, see here when a ray of light travel from one medium to another medium, the ratio between sine of angle of incidence and sine of angle of refraction is called refract refractive index of second medium with respect to the, with respect to the first medium. Okay, like that here we will take 1, 2. Why we, we have to take here 1, 2 means see here refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. So, here we are taking the 2 medium that for refractive index of second medium with respect to the first medium. So, that is equal to what? The ratio of sine of angle of incidence divided by sin r ok. So, this is what nothing but refractive index. So, what is the absolute refractive index? See here the refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum or air is called the what absolute refractive index ok. Got it? So, in today's video or today's class already we discuss what your first unit or we start your third semester first unit. What is that? Geometrical optics. In that 
already we seen the what introduction means optics what is the optics it is the branch of physics in which we will study the propagation of light properties sources etc okay after that we'll see the some basic definitions and in that law of reflections and the law of refractions next one refractive index okay in next class we'll st we'll start your syllabus of fermat's principles and in that law of reflections and law of refractions derivation okay thank you thank you one and all